Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another video. Today I'm very excited to try this Adele Photo Face Matte Foundation. I love Adele's eyelashes, especially the whispers, or I think they're called like that. But I've never tried any makeup from Adele and I'm very excited to see how this is going to work. They had a couple of shades, I don't remember if there was three or four shades available. I haven't checked out if there is other shades, but I'll put information down below, how many shades and everything there are, how much it costs. But I'm very excited to try this and I bought this in light 3.0. And I don't know, I don't think it's going to match my skin tone, I, but I hope it will be a good foundation. It wasn't expensive at all. I think I bought it together with many of different products, something for my giveaways. And I got this because I was very curious to try it. So if you want to see how this is working, if you're interested to see how this is working on my combo skin, then please keep on watching. So I did zoom you in because I want you to be able to see everything. So I already moisturized my skin, but I'm going to go in with this Lancome Prep and Matte uh, face primer. I love this primer. I've been using it a lot and then I stopped using it because I wanted to finish the Revolution matte one and I did that. So I'm going back to Lancome. I don't like the smell, but it's all very good. And it's keeping my skin matte and I always use, use matte cons um, primers. So that is what I'm doing today. It's a little bit sticky, but it's a good one. And then I'm going to go in in pore blur primer from Revolution just to kind of hide these pores on my skin, my face, warm it up and then go in here where I have most of my pores. I'm very, ex I'm very interested to see how this foundation is going to hold. I don't want it to look too dry because I don't like too dry foundation. I actually kind of like um, satin finish foundations but I don't have a lot of those. So everything is nice and primed. I don't have a beauty blender, but though I have this uh, sponge that I reviewed. I think it's okay sponge. It's not the best, it's not, not the worst. Let's see. I don't like the packaging. Oh, whoa, 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 it's coming out. I don't like the packaging because I can't see how much foundation I have in there, but it's, it's not too thick, not too runny. Let's try it on this side. I'm going to try it with a brush. So I'm going to use... Oh, that's um, that's a little bit dark. It says light. I don't know. This is not light. Mm, earrings. But I'm going to wear it for a couple of hours and see how it's holding, working on my skin. It's kind of thick, but I don't like how it's, I mean, it's applying nice, but it's dr getting dry very fast. It's kind of thick. I think it looks very nice on the skin. The shade is not perfect, but the foundation looks nice. So I'm going to go in with this sponge on the other side. Let's see how I like it with the sponge. I need more. Let's go straight on the skin, right on the skin. I like full coverage foundations. But I don't like foundations to look cakey or dry or... Okay, so my first thought is that the brush kind of makes it easier to work with. Though I spread the foundation a little more easier than the sponge, so... But I kind of like how it looks. A little bit uneven with the so wrong shade. 
a little bit uneven with the bra with the sponge, so I'm going to take more of this foundation. It says light, this is not light. This is definitely not light, but it's going to suit me in the summer, so I also prefer my foundations to be a little bit dark. So I'm going on over again with a one more layer just to make everything even with a brush and then I think I'm going to go again with the sponge all over my face. Kind of like sometimes doing this, first go in with a brush and then go in with the sponge. It looks very nice and smooth, I don't hate it. It dries down very fast. But it's definitely a matte, so if you have dry skin you're not going to like it. I'm going to go in with some concealer and I'm going to go in with Revolution Concealer number 6. Concealer is dry, drying very fast on the foundation so it looks a little bit tricky so don't do it like I did right now and place the concealer everywhere because it's going to dry very fast. I really hate the color, this shade on me. It looks a little bit muddy. But I can always mix it with other foundations. So, for packing powder under the eyes, right now it looks it looks very nice. It does look a little bit dry. So if you have dry skin, you're definitely not going to like this foundation. But I like how it looks. It looks very nice, smooth, and. Uh, yeah, I do like it. I know what this is, something an allergic reaction to something. I have something that popped up here a little bit. But yeah. So right now it's 11:39 and I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to do first checking. Okay, I'm back. I just finished filming another video where I reviewed this palette. So if you haven't seen that, it's definitely going to be on my channel or a card up here if I don't forget that. But on my eyes, I do have the Huda Beauty Nude palette. And on my lips, I have a um, lip liner, Big Proposal from Essence, and also a lip gloss, Wham, from Colourpop and Laura Lee collab. And uh, this is my full makeup face. Full face makeup, makeup face, I don't know what to call it. So back to the back to this. It's now, let's see what time it is. It's now 12:17, and now we have it this for around 40 minutes. So it looks very nice and smooth. I love the coverage of it. And I made this shade working for me. That's a good thing. Uh, it looks a little bit dry. It's matte. Okay, it's not satin finish. It's matte. So if you don't like matte foundation, this is definitely not for you. And if you have dry patches, it's definitely going to show up because uh, I do have a little bit of dryness here on my smile lines and it's definitely showing up. So it's going to show every every wrinkle on your skin because I have a wrinkle here, a fine line, and it's um, definitely showing it up. It's having its moment right now. So if you have dry patches and dry skin and you don't want to enhance that, so pass this foundation. But if you have oily skin, I think this is going to be good for you. I love the coverage. I love how light it feels on the skin. It feels like I don't have makeup. I think it looks nice. I love how it looks. Definitely something maybe I can use during the summer when my skin gets a little bit more oily. I've been having a little bit of dry patches on my skin, which is a little bit unusual, but I'm getting a cold and I don't really feel nice. And my skin always changes every season. So this isn't getting a little bit more dry on some patches like here, here on our, under my nose or here on the nose, on my forehead. And this part on my nose, it's very oily, so very strange skin. And I'm loving uh, right now my face. I hope, I just hope this won't break up and I hope this won't look cakey and dry at the end of the day, not night, day. So I'm going to wear it for a couple of hours just to see how this is going to work the rest of the day. Right now I do like it. I'm going to put my 
my glasses on because I do need them. So I see you in a couple of hours. Hi, my beautiful family. Welcome back. Uh, right now it's 16.27 and I have been having this foundation for five hours around. And I'm going to take it off because I'm too tired and I need to film other videos. But uh, the foundation didn't touch up anything. It's getting a little bit oily after five hours. The nose is completely gone here. I don't know why I didn't touch my nose or anything. Uh, well, it looks much better after my natural oils came out. But it's not a bad foundation, so I do recommend it. I mean, uh, it worked pretty, pretty good. Definitely going to continue using it to see if I like it or not, but it's not terrible. I mean, I'm surprised. It's it's a nice foundation, not for dry skin because it did settle into some fine lines, but if you have oily skin, try. This is a thick formula, but it wears very, very nice. I mean, I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. So I kind of like it. And I think it's going to, I'm going to update you a little bit late when I continue using it a little bit more just to play with it more and see how long it's going to wear but for these five hours it worked pretty good so I like it I like it so guys if you like this video give a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe let me know down below if you try this foundation if you like it or not let me also know what's your favorite foundation what kind of skin do you have what is your favorite foundation do you want me to try a foundation what kind of foundation please let me know I love trying new foundations so many times I said foundation Okay, I will end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I see my next video and I love you all. Mwah. Bye.